Welcome to Just the Two of Us Homestead. We are Colleen and Frank, and we live in the perfect size homestead just for us in southwestern Quebec. Gardening, growing food, and preserving is one of our passions. And our barn animals, we love them so much, they're just like pets. And we're so fortunate to be able to live our lives as we do each and every day is a blessing. Happy Saturday, everybody. It's another miserable day outside. It's warm, but it's rainy and windy. So I'm just about to make my afternoon coffee. And I wanted to give you a few updates on the kitchen. But more importantly, I wanted to... Hold on. I love Mr. Keurig. I wanted to ask your opinion on what color to paint the kitchen. I have a hard time making these kind of decisions. And I, we, have, we know what we're doing for the backsplash now. So that's a one step further. So I just wanted to explain to you a few things and then maybe you can help me decide because Frank and I are decisioned out. We have an idea what we want. I just, you guys always give so much good input and advice. And I wanna get this done before like gardening gets really going right now. We have like a bunch of rainy days coming up, so it would be a good time to maybe get the painting finished. So I'll finish my making my coffee. I'm gonna show you around a bit. I have some paint samples and that I'd love to show you. And then you can help me decide, please. One of the things I've noticed now in the kitchen when I film, because the kitchen is finished and I'm no longer embarrassed to show it to you when I would film in the kitchen I had you guys facing that way towards the living room because you could see the living room and not the yuck behind the camera but my lighting was much better that way so now when the camera is facing this way I always have to close the blind or it creates a huge shadow behind me so I don't know, I have to work on the lighting for that because I find it's always dark on me now, but you guys let me know if it bothers you. So here's part, no, I'm gonna do the updates first and then we'll get into the paint colors. I think that's what I'll do. These were just like light brown yucky stools and I just chalk painted them white and depending on what color we, excuse me, paint the kitchen, I'm gonna put like a cushioned, fabric seat on there like a cover so for now they're just white but they already look much better they were kind of like this color before if you remember but beaten up so we fixed them all up painted them and I'm very happy with them so that was one project done so this cabinet was a wood beat up brown hutch or cabinet whatever you call it I chalk painted this as well, and I put on the same knobs that we have in all the kitchen cabinets. So I'm pleased how it turned out. I just had this runner in my linen closet. I just stuck it on there so nothing would scratch. But whatever fabric I use on the bar stools, I will make a runner to match. Um, I don't want it scratched or anything. I didn't put a wax on the chalk paint, so I just put this here for now. And we just usually use it for our eggs. Today's eggs go here so I can see who laid because I know each chicken's eggs. And then they go here. And in a couple of days, I sort through all these. So I'm really happy with that. I've opened the blinds to for just right now. Hopefully you can get more natural light to see what the paint chips are. We have the rain should. It's downstairs and I just have to get my contractor to come because they have to drill through the brick exterior for the pipe. And for the backsplash, what we decided, we went to three different like tile places. We were gonna do a tile backsplash and I couldn't find anything I liked, neither one of us really. Well, that's kind of not true. I found two that I liked. And of course, they happen to be the two most expensive out of all the tiles. So we were humming and hawing, and 
I don't know, I just couldn't justify spending that much money on tile. And even then, I still wasn't in love with it. And to me, that's one of the most permanent things we could be putting in the kitchen is backsplash. It's there and it's there. So um, my very dear friend, Michaela, who actually designed our kitchen, she was here a week or so ago, and she suggested beadboard backsplash. It would be like wooden slats. And right away, I fell in love with it. She showed me uh, pictures on Pinterest and that. And you could put them horizontal or vertical. And we're going to go with the vertical. And I can keep it white or I can paint it the wall color. So we're going to go with this beadboard backsplash. And I'm really happy about it. It'll give the kitchen more of a country feel. I don't want it to... I'm trying with like my mason jar lights and part of the decor. I want that like rustic country feel. So it, to me, it's not even um, a second choice. I loved it instantly more than the tile. So I was so happy she showed that to me. Frank and I both love it. So that decision is over with. We've got that. But now for the paint. So... I always gravitate to um, earth tones. I just naturally go to them. I find them calming. It's neutral. You can always change your accessories if you stick with an, uh, an earth tone. And when we were picking the kitchen, I really wanted off-white cabinets, like a cream color, eggshell, or whatever. But it was significantly more expensive to get off-white cabinets than white, like very significant. So I said, fine, we're going with white. I'm not paying that much more just to have an off-white cabinet. And then I thought, well, we'll just, the color in the kitchen will be the walls. So I don't know what to do. The colors I'll show you in the living room, they're almost the color I kind of want to do in the kitchen. But then I'm thinking, is that too much of the same thing? Or does that give a flow to the house that it's kind of all the same? Should the kitchen have its own color? I don't know if it'll accentuate the cabinets, but compete with the dark countertops. And I know I'm probably thinking, overthinking this way too much, but I only want to do this once and then be done with this for quite a while. So I'll show you in a minute, but our kit, our living room and hallway is kind of this color. It's the top one. It's kind of like a sandy color. And that's kind of how I want it to be. But then I could go like a darker sandy color, like this, if you compare them. But then there's one like you can get more into like yellow tones and I know maybe it's not, excuse me, maybe it's not going to show very well for you guys, but there is a difference. Like this last one is more like yellowy. So when I put them up here, maybe there's better. I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see. I'll show you from a bit further away first and then close up because I want you to see the countertop too. I mean, and I don't even really have to stick to these ones. If you guys can think of another color that would look even better, by all means, let me know. Sorry, I'm a little bit shaky today. So you see I have the dark countertop, but then I have the white. So if I have the beadboard backsplash, I can either keep that white or color, paint it whatever color I want to do the walls. So that's against the, the white cabinet. But then I have to consider, I'll bring you in closer to see the dark countertop. Looking through the camera kind of looks green for you guys, but see it looks entirely different. So, I don't know, should I be matching it just to the cabinets, to the countertop, 
or go in a completely different route. I don't really want like color, like green. I'm not fond of yellow. This is my living room. And see, it's kind of like that sandy color. And the mantle is an off-white. It's a bit darker in real life than what it's showing through the camera. But should I just do the same in the kitchen? Well, I don't know what to do. Because I'll swing you around to show you how much would be painted. It would be the bulkhead, the walls over there, and back, I'll show you back to that little cabinet. I have like, um, I'll just show you where the, on my cast iron is. To me, if it were a bit darker of a color there, that would be more of like a focal point. I'll show you. Okay, so this, this is where that little cabinet is. And above it, there's like this cutout in the wall where I have all my cast iron hanging there. And uh, the wall is just like in a cream color right now. But if the wall paint was a wee bit darker, that would show up nicer, like with the white frame around it. And then this is what has to be painted all along here. And I still don't know if I would, this is my spice cabinet there. We're gonna put on the black knobs there as well. If I should paint that, the wall color, there's the living room and then everything around here would have to be painted. I just dropped my camera and broke my microphone that I just bought. <sighs> I hope you can hear me. Anyway, you're probably wondering why is she going on and on about just to paint color? Because when I do something like this, the energy it takes me and Frank to do it I only want to do it once and I want to be happy with it just the one time. And with all the gardening and everything that's coming up, I just want to do it the one time, be happy with it, conserve my energy for all the other things I have to do. And it's just, I don't know, I'm having a hard time making a decision. I just wanted to get some input from you guys and you're always full of ideas. I love hearing from you. So we're hoping to get to it within the next week because after that, it's full on gardening mode. The rest of today, I have to play with all my seedlings and starts and get back to that. So let me know what color do you think I should paint? It doesn't even have to be on those cards I showed you. If you can think of a different or better color, just not too yellowy, I'd be happy to hear from. One day soon, hopefully, this kitchen will be finished. It takes us a while sometimes to get our projects done, but they do get done in the end. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, and until we're together again, take care.